gentlemen, welcome to my Money in the Bank 2024 predictions. Ooh, we're doing a predictions video. We haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, yeah, we've got five matches to predict, so let's just jump into it. Uh, first, we have Damien Priest versus whoa, Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. If Seth Rollins wins, Damien Priest must leave the Judgment Day. And if Damien Priest wins, Seth Rollins will never get a title shot as long as he's champion. Which is fine, because he'll probably lose it to come for like, next month anyway. Uh, so I think Damien Priest is going to go over here. This is the part of the building up Damien Priest as a champion. I don't know why they didn't do this before he cashed in Money in the Bank. Like have him have a couple of big wins before Money in the Bank. He cashed in his Money in the Bank. Uh, he still doesn't really feel like a legit champion, but beating Seth Rollins on his way to becoming, you know, having a win over Jey Uso, having a weird, you know, of a screwy win over Drew McIntyre, but a win over Drew McIntyre nonetheless, and a win over Seth Rollins makes his title reign look a lot more legit. So, I'm, it makes sense to me that he's going to beat Seth here, and then they're going to move on to him versus Gunther at SummerSlam, which would be a really good match. Uh, the next match on the list is the Intercontinental title match of Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker. I, hmm, this one's tricky because it, it feels like it's too soon for Sami to drop the title. But also it feels like they could just do a John Cena 2014 kind of thing with Braun Breaker here where they literally squash him. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. I think the Braun Breaker might squash Sami Zayn here in like a two minute squash match and win the title which would be cool i can also see sammy winning this and i could also or i could also see them having some kind of shenanigans and then this being a rematch at SummerSlam. but i'm gonna go with broad breaker wins this one uh yeah we're gonna have a title because it's not really like gonna be any of the title changes i don't think so we will with that and we have cody and friends cody randy orton and kevin owens versus the new bloodline Solo Sokoa is gonna be is gonna pin Cody Rhodes. This is building up to their SummerSlam matchup. Um, this is gonna be the I think Cody Rhodes versus uh, Solo Sokoa is gonna be the SummerSlam WWE title matchup. Even though I think it would make more sense for it to be Randy Orton versus Cody, and it'd have Solo versus Roman. So maybe Roman will show up and screw over the new bloodline. I don't think that's going to happen. It might happen. It might happen. There's, that's the two ways it could go. But I'm going to go with a, a new bloodline. This is their debut as the new bloodline. Uh, their debut like trios uh, six-man tag match. And I think they're going to pin Cody. And it's going to lead to a title match at SummerSlam. And yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. So I think uh, that's where we're going with this. So new bloodline win. Then we have... The men's buddy in the back ladder match. Jay Uso, eat, eat. Carmelo Hayes, Andrade, Chad Gable, LA Knight, and Drew McIntyre. Um, I think it'd be awesome if Drew McIntyre won this. I think there's a good chance he can win this. But I also feel like there's, there's two ways this is going to go with Drew. He's either going to win, he's either going to get screwed over. To in Money in the Bank by CM Punk and lose, not win Money in the Bank because of CM Punk, or he's going to win Money in the Bank and when he's trying to cash in, he'll get screwed over by CM Punk. It's going to be one of the two. Um, <laughs> or, or, or option three, CM Punk somehow becomes world champion and then Drew McIntyre cashes in on him, which would also be quite a funny. Uh, super, CM Punk's going to get involved in the Money in the Bank shenanigans when it comes to Drew. So I don't think Drew's going to actually win it because I think he's probably going to get screwed this matchup i think that's probably more likely scenario so i'm gonna go with it's a hard choice because it is it, it could literally go multiple ways here like ellie knight super over they could put carmelo they could put a rocket on carmelo uh, send it to the moon you know on friday i don't think it's likely but you could have him win it uh it's between for me it's between chad and jay uh it's always better to have a heel money in the bank holder but i think it might be jay 
Ooh, Jay, it was so... Because we've been trying to build him up as a single star for a while now, Jay, and this would be a big way of doing it. Giving him that briefcase and making him feel legit. So I think Jay's going to win this one. And then we have the women's money in the bank ladder match. Eos guy, Chelsea, Gr Chelsea Green! Lara Vicaria, uh, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi, or Zoe Stark. I want Chelsea Green to win it because I think he'd be hilarious. And then he should cash in and then turn the title into like a Divas Championship and like basically send the whole women's division back 10 years. It would be funny as hell. Um, which I can see happening, but I think it might be Tiffy's time. Tiffy time, as you might say. Uh, she's got some kind of alliance with Nia Jax. I think Nia Jax is going to like help her win and then they're gonna like she's gonna help Nia win at SummerSlam because she's queen of the ring and then they're gonna have some kind of like the queen and cha the queen champion and her with the money in the bank briefcase and it'll be like kind of tensions between the two so I think Tiffy and with a, with a custom she's gonna have a custom briefcase for like pink with shit and stuff like that I think Tiffy Tiffany Stratton is gonna win money in the bank and that's my prediction those are my predictions for money in the bank what do you guys think let me know in the comments below. Do you think I'm, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, choose me. And it's guys. We're on the road to 5K. Join Potato Club today and too sweet. That subscribe button.